Hello, I am Commissioner Emma Darnell, Fulton County District 6. Welcome to Mighty Six Conversations. As you know, Conversations is a monthly information and communication program focusing on the sustainable community. Environmentally strong, economically safe, the other way around also with liberty and justice and opportunity for all. Today's topic is the South Fulton Library and Green Jobs. What's going on? Thank you so much for joining us. I'll be back in a moment. Joining me in the conversation today is Belinda Morrow. Mrs. Morrow is president of 2M Design Consultants Incorporated. Uh, 2M is a contractor for the LEAD Silver Program of the Atlanta Fulton Public Library Facility Construction and Renovation Program, which I may add recently received the prestigious MAC 2016 Atlanta E3 Award for Built Environments. Welcome, Thank Ms. Maroy. And congratulations to you and to the company and to the Atlanta Fulton Library for achieving this important milestone. Thank you so much, Commissioner. I think before we get into the main thing we want to talk about today, Ms. Maroy, Green jobs. All right. Opportunities for jobs and job training uh, in the era of, uh, uh, what do you call them, high performance buildings. That's right. Green That's jobs. Right. Yes. But tell us about LEADS, L E E D S. What does that stand for? LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And it is a protocol that was. Uh, put together by the U.S. Green Building Council several years ago, and it allows us to build buildings that are both energy efficient and environmentally friendly, and that create the green jobs that you and I like to talk about so much. And of course, the LEED Silver Award. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, many of the buildings that have been completed during phase one of the library project have achieved uh, the Leeds Silver Award, yes. including the brand new, beautiful, renovated South Fulton Library. Is that correct? Well, so far, since South Fulton is our very last project, its LEED Silver Certification is in progress right now. And yes. I'll let you in on a little secret. We're going to document it to LEED Gold in hopes of achieving gold. Uh, but so far, we have uh, seven projects. Seven of have, eight, that, right? Seven of eight that have certified. And, Wonderful. Um, and, and so we're excited about that. We've got... Uh, uh, South Fulton, that is in uh, progress for LEED certifications, uh, Auburn Avenue Research Library, and Southeast Atlanta Library. So Metropolitan is in its final uh, stages of uh, certification right now. So we are very close to completing all of them. And with respect to LEED certification, yes. it requires certain actions and steps that must yes. be completed. Tell That's us right. about that because obviously uh, not every construction project uh, has That's been right. successful That's right. in achieving that very important objective. Absolutely. We have to work as a design team with the owner and with the general contractors or our CM at risk in this case to determine which lead points there are uh, uh, available uh, about a hundred over a hundred lead points that I you see. can apply uh, for the certification so in working together as a team during the lead charrette with the owner and with the um, owners representatives we determine which points affect uh, the best opportunities for each project 
So lead silver uh, requires that we get a minimum of between 50 to 59 points on the projects and we focus on energy efficiency and uh, water efficiency and reducing the county's carbon footprint and making sure that those libraries have great, even excellent indoor air quality. So the, the goal of course is energy efficiency. Yes. Yes. Uh, as well as environmental protection. That's right. For the consumer. That's exactly right. As well as the community. Absolutely. Because also. buildings contribute a great amount to pollution because of yes. the re removing of trees that clean our atmosphere. So we've got to remove trees to build the buildings. Fulton County has elected to build in uh, central city areas where buildings had been previously. So we're conserving uh, our, our land by building on sites that may have been uh, brownfields that were cleaned and restored and beautiful new libraries were placed on them. So we are building um, in, in harmony with nature. Well, we were certainly pleased when uh, the Northwest Library at yes. Scott's Crossing was constructed uh, that the contractor uh, uh, and uh, and your your organization took steps to make sure that that area uh, did not suffer from the loss of their trees. That's right. Uh, That's right. The community was very concerned. Yes. Uh, environment, the protection of the environment. Yes. Environmental justice have been identified by residents of this district as among their top priorities. Yes. And it's for that reason that the Board of Commissioners for over 12 years has adopted policies yes. that are designed to achieve our objectives uh, in, in this regard. And I, I think this is why uh, you saw the board so enthusiastic yes. uh, when we received this award, not only because of the uh, obvious uh, um, uh, award uh, the, the obvious uh, credit yes. uh, to our contractors, but also to the people of this county who have That's insisted right. that it's not enough to build a tall building. Absolutely. A building has to be energy efficient and has to protect the environment. Yes. But yes. you've told us on many occasions, Ms. Morrow, that not only is it extremely important that in the construction and renovation of mm -hmm. county buildings that we achieve these objectives, but at the same time, we could have some positive effect on other objectives that we have. Absolutely. And we don't have any objective at this time that is more important to the people of my district and throughout this county than the kind of economic development that will bring good jobs yes. with good pay yes. to the residents of this county, and particularly, uh, in my case, District 6. So tell us about, I believe some of those points are actually, uh, you actually gain points by steps that you take in this area, maybe to train site superintendents? That's correct. Tell, tell us about that. Uh, what's the connection now between right. the, the, this LEADS uh, designation and certification and this other objective that we have, uh, and that is to job training and job retraining? Absolutely. Those are excellent questions. The LEAD uh, rating system has a pilot credit called Pilot Credit Number 81, and it uses a uh, G-PRO, that's a green professional uh, training protocol call for trade workers. And that uh, protocol allows us to train uh, community uh, members that want to learn how to work on high performance green projects. If we focus even on our youth, we know that from the ages of 16 to 24 that 5.6 million of our youth are either out of school or unemployed. This GPRO Green Jobs Training, uh, we, we, we can use this program through the offices of workforce development like at Fulton County to train workers, get them trained in green building protocols and then placed on high performance projects like our capital library projects or other uh, county government projects or other municipal uh, governments 
for um, through workforce development. So getting our, our, our uh, community members employed is at the top of our list for uh, green jobs training. And would you uh, tell us, Mrs. Mara, uh, how that works, how we, we move from the award of a contract for construction and mm -hmm. renovation to the kind of leads, training, job training, uh, and in many cases, uh, retraining mm -hmm. uh, for community members? I, I think the very first thing to do is um, to connect green jobs training to the Office of Workforce Development's First Source Jobs Program. I'm going to take a break right there because okay. I want to get into how that hooks into workforce development. Very good. We'll be back in a moment for part two of our conversation about those green jobs. Stay with us. Ms. Morrow, we were talking about the connection between a LEED certification yes. and employment yes. and jobs for the community where that project is being built. Uh, tell us how that works. Uh, Commissioner Darnell, I have spent most of my uh, last, I would say, 15 years working with construction uh, trades people. Yes. And I've done so because that is an opportunity for community members to have jobs because there is a great need for new cadre of skilled workers because high performance green buildings require savvy, computer savvy um, uh, operation and maintenance. They require uh, contractors that will hire uh, maybe young people that are not afraid of technology to help them build and install these green technologies. The LEED pilot credit number 81 gives contractors and LEED programs uh, a, a point in innovation and design for training and placing uh, workers on so their projects. So you actually gain lead points. So you can actually gain a lead by point training by others. training and yes. placing and using the training and placing. And training I and really placing. like that, Ms. Mara. Yes. A lot of folks are doing readiness, but That's that right. placement we don't hear. That is the way that buildings will be built in a high performance way. We can design beautiful high performance green buildings, but if we don't train our laborers, you have, even to, have, the our, workers, you have to train the workers. You have to train even the construction helpers. Because if you have a construction helper from a day labor pool that has not been trained, that person can come on a job site and really affect in a negative way mm -hmm. the, the products that are installed. If, for instance, um, you're installing insulation in the ceiling and they take the insulation out of the package before it's time to be installed, then you're installing dirty insulation in your ceiling that will affect your HVAC system. So green I jobs see. training, even for construction uh, helpers, is very vital. And can, a good uh, construction helper can easily make t uh, twelve to fifteen dollars an That's hour. That's the point I wanted to make. It, Absolutely, this doesn't require a master's degree. It, it does not, <laughs> and we can and you ask, get good pay. And you get good pay. We can ask every general contractor in this area, and Commissioner Darnell, there are six seven billion dollars worth of construction projects in a progress right now. Yes. and we no longer want our our inner city central city. Um, community standing on the sidelines watching heavy and major construction going on. We want them trained to participate. And not only during building and renovation, but I think you indicated also, Ms. Morrow, even with respect to the maintenance. Absolutely. These high performance buildings, uh, you, you have to be trained to, even, I think you did some some training. Yes. Uh, for, of our staff, of some That's of our good. dream staff. That's that correct. Right? Uh, had the opportunity at the end of 2015 to train your dream staff that will be maintaining, that are maintaining. That will be maintaining these Leeds buildings. Absolutely right. And they were excited because um, they're included. Their jobs will last for as long as, as the buildings last. So having operation and maintenance staff trained is critical to the and building then they owner. Can train then they continue others. to train. And they're going to be hiring folks who can Absolutely. be trained. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And so that's why you're training them so they can train others. Our program is called Train the Trainer. So yeah, train we, the we currently have mm -hmm. 20 trainers trained that are standing by and ready to train community members uh, to work on, on government projects. And so if we can get our government leaders like yourself and the other commissioners uh, to agree to use um, First Source as an opportunity for the contractors. The First Source program. The First Source program. And, Very and, critical. And get our, our general contractors as a part of their equal business opportunity plan to connect First Source with Green Jobs Training. Then they don't have to go to day labor pools. They can pull straight from Workforce Development's First Source Jobs Program. And because the construction yes. uh, in this county, uh, folks, owners are not building anything but these high-performance buildings. They're that, not building the, right. the old-type buildings. No, no. Traditional construction is a thing of the past. Yes. And it's because the energy codes and the new environmental yes. codes have changed. Regulations. And that's exactly yes. right. So whether you're going for lead or not, you're building a high-performance green building that uh, someone's going to have to build green building. and maintain. Yes. That's right. That's right. And you mentioned earlier, Mrs. Morrow, that uh, you coordinate with workforce development yes. also. Yes. Tell us how that works. C Commissioner Darnell, I had the opportunity at the end of uh, 20, oh, 2002, actually, to work with uh, Fulton County on the previous capital program. and. What we required at that time, or asked at that time, was for every um, general contractor to bring someone from the Office of Workforce Development if they had a million dollars or more in their, their contract. So I had the opportunity to work with uh, Mr. Burrell Billingsley, and we worked yes. on the OC library. Yes, he's transitioned. Yes, he's he some, has. We'll never he, forget we, Billingsley. We will never yeah. forget him. He worked and so hard in this area to get people jobs. He really did. And, and he was successful. And he was successful. Because he had partnerships. That's exactly right. That's what right. it takes. And that's what it takes. So yes. we, we partnered with the firm, uh, General Design Bill firm, and they brought folks out of the workforce development, and they are continuing to to um, employ folks through the Office of Workforce Development. We're so glad to hear that uh, this continues to be, as I said, Mrs. Morrow, a major board policy. It's wonderful. Uh, economic development to us, frankly, yes. means a little bit more than revenues. Yes. It means jobs. Yes, it does. Uh, for yes, the residents does. of this county and Absolutely. the First Source Program, the Workforce Development Program, this $200 million library construction program these are opportunities that we see uh, that will help us achieve both of those objectives. That's awesome. And I think that when we talk about green jobs and everywhere I go, you know, folks say, when, when I say jobs are going to be coming to the area, they say, Emma, don't forget we want some of those green jobs. Absolutely. They appreciate the warehouse job, yes. but they realize that those are limited. That's right. They are, they are limited. That's right. And folks want the green jobs. And what I hear you saying is that the county, by entering into contracts, you know, for millions of dollars to build buildings yes. and to renovate buildings, not just the library program, you know, every, every board meeting, millions of dollars. That's right. This is an opportunity to not only meet our goals, I hear you saying, in terms of environmentally safe communities, but giving our children our youth, our seniors, our millennials yes. who have serious unemployment problems, yes. serious, yes. 25 to 34, serious problems, giving them an opportunity uh, to be trained Absolutely. and placed. Absolutely. Ms. Barr, we certainly do appreciate uh, so much uh, what you're doing, not only with our library facilities program, but also what you're doing uh, in your company Thank you. To provide job training and retraining for communities all over this county and all over Metro Atlanta. Yes. And we look forward to continuing uh, to work with you, not only with Thank the you. Library Facilities Program, uh, but also with the other programs that in Phase 2. Thank you so much. Of the Library Program. And we want to thank you again for that fantastic 
new South Fulton Library. Absolutely. We are enjoying it immensely. It is a very beautiful library. It is a beautiful, beautiful facility, and we appreciate the McAfee Architects uh, yes. uh, who were also uh, great team. key contractors on that project. Yes. Thanks Thank so you. much. We'll be back in a moment with my closing comments. Stick <laughs> People want jobs, people want to work. When people have jobs, they have more than, quote, self-sufficiency, end of quote. What may be perhaps more important, when they have jobs, they have self-respect and respect for others. When people have jobs, they not only have the capacity to better themselves, they also have the capacity to help others do the same. That's all the time we have for today's conversation. Until next time, stay strong. To learn more about today's conversation, contact me at 404-612-8222. That's 404-612-8222. You can also email me at emma.darnell at fultoncountysga.gov. Visit us online at emmadarnell.com or connect with us on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs>